Knock, knock. Hi, John. Hi, Rachel. Look, I thought I'd drop these off on my way in. Uh, one, drunken disorderly, and two, b and and they're all crying parental abuse. Just what I need, more files. Yeah, we should uh, maybe sit down with the parents and try and work out... Uh... Rachel, are you okay? Oh, they just... They just let go of another social worker two days ago. So guess who takes his caseload? You gonna be able to manage it? Don't have much of a choice. Oh, wow. What a dress. Okay, you going out later? No, I just had nothing else clean to wear. Okay, well, I'm out of here. You gonna be okay with this? Did you know that each file's a different kid, eh? I'll, uh, I'll give you a call later. Okay, listen up. Today is a very big day because today is Bobby's last day. Yay! All right. Hey, Bobby. Excited, Bobby? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to drive you into town myself later this afternoon. And we have to let the hawk go today. Okay. Yeah. Big deal. Big celebration. Jack, I want you and Bobby to show Ted around before chores. Okay? He's new, so let's help him get a feel for the place. I don't need to get a feel for the place. Oh, sure you do. Okay. Uh, yeah, and Vic has gone up to Revelstoke to get a new flatbed truck, so he won't be back until tonight. Is it all the way to Revelstoke? Yeah. That's a eight-hour drive. Uh, we got a good deal. So, we've got compost to spread, we've got livestock Hello? to feed. Hello? Really? Oh, that's great. Uh-huh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, that would be a great idea, uh-huh. Who is it? Okay. Well, keep us posted. I'm really glad that you called. Yeah, I'll tell him. Okay. Bye. Uh, who was it? Jack? Diane just went into labor. Is that going to be a problem? No, not at all. Babies are always off their due dates. Oh, man. Okay. That was her mama's. They took her into the hospital and... The hospital? Yes, Jack. That's where they have babies. Everything's fine. She was just a little early, so they sent her back home. So it's going to take a little while. But Diane keeps asking if you can come be with her. This is it, Jack. Time to make a decision. Uh... Who's Diane? <clears throat> Mom. I 
I got you this. Oh. You're sweating. Oh, polyester jacket. You ready? Let's do it. Mm. Oh. Mm. Dad? Mm. Your dad has a nice car. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Mm. Do you mean it? Oh, Diane, don't start with this again. I just want to make sure. I mean, you know how you talk. And... Dad, we, we, we've been going out for eight months. I mean, when I say I love you, I mean it. Oh, Jack. Mm. 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 Jack? Mm. Do you have anything? Yeah. What? Like, like a, like a condom or anything? No. Do you think, do you think we should go get one? Mm. Mm. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's okay. Mm. We love each other. I love you, Jack. I love you. It was positive. What? The home test. It was positive, not negative. So I went to the doctor and he checked me. It's positive. Oh, man. Did you tell your parents? So what are you going to do? I don't know. So you knocked her up? Basically. And I guess now she wants to keep it. This is too fast. I can't deal with this. I hope it's a girl. No, I really do. No, no, I want d double F. Yeah, F is in Frank. Yeah, yeah, juvenile. Yeah, I can hold. Yeah, I'm here. That, yeah, thanks, Tom. Hi. Remember me, Rachel? Annie? Yeah, of course. Um, I was just, you know, I was just wondering if I could talk to you. You said I could come by whenever I needed to talk. Yeah, anytime. C come on in. So what's up? I don't know. It's really rough right now. You know, with Tim and Sharon. And I was thinking about what you said I should do, but... It's really tough, you know? I mean, I feel like everything's just falling apart. Well, um, sometimes... You know, sometimes you have to just kind of stick with things and... And, uh, you know... Take each day, like, as it comes, and... You don't remember me. Yeah, I do. I just, I have really had a big day here today, and, uh, Sometimes my head's just in the clouds. Uh, Annie, I remember you. No, you don't. Where are you going? Street. I like my family there. They don't forget me. Please. Okay, so nice and easy, you put your foot in the stirrup, and when your leg's up and over, I'll hand you the reins. He's ridden before. Really? Why do you say that? Oh, 
That was great. No big deal. Where'd you learn to ride like that? Oh, home. Yeah, grew up in a ranch all my life. Hated it. <laughs> Took off to Vancouver, anything to get away from the country. Then I got busted, right? Where did they send me? Back to a ranch. What'd you get busted for? Assault. Punched guy in a bar. No big deal. What'd you do? Stole a car. Really? Why? Well, things got pretty serious. And Diane told her parents about the baby, and they called my parents, and the next thing I know, everyone's telling me what to do. Her dad's telling me to accept the responsibility. My dad's telling me not to throw away my future. And meanwhile, Diane wants me to start taking little Miles classes with her. And then one day I'm at work, right? And this valley at this restaurant in town, and this, this woman comes out holding a crying baby. So I go to get her car, and this baby keeps crying. And all I'm thinking is, I gotta get out of here. Get as far away from my life as possible. Get this. You know, I'm out of here. And I just snapped.
Right, you're under arrest. So, here I am. And today, right? Big day. Bobby's last day. We're going to let the hawk go and everything. We've been looking forward to it for a month now. And what does she decide to do? She goes into labor. That's what she does, man. She just, she just screws up my life every step of the way. I mean, you just don't get it. This is not playtime, Diane. I know that. Don't you think I know that? I mean, it doesn't go away. This, you're going to have this kid for the rest of your life. I know. God, stop treating me like some kind of idiot. I thought hard about this. Well, what about me? You know, I mean, I finally got accepted to Stanford. I got plans. You ever think to ask me what I think? I am asking you. No, no, you're telling me. I'm keeping this baby, Jack. Hi. Me again. Hi, John. Ah, uh, thought maybe I'd treat you to lunch. Lunch? Um, oh, no, sorry. I, I, I can't get away right now. You have to eat something, Rachel. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll grab a sandwich later. What are you working on? Oh. oh, this young kid, this young girl came into my office today. Apparently one of my kids. And she, uh, wanted to talk to me. So she's sitting there pouring her heart out to me, and, uh, I'm a complete blank. So what happened? I... I tried to pretend I knew what she was talking about. But she saw right through it. And she left. So I've been checking to see if I can find a match. All I've got is her first name, Annie. And I'm trying to locate her. Hey, why don't I bring you back some lunch? No, it's okay. No, no, no. It's no problem. All I have to do is pick up something and bring it back here. No, really, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe it. That kid is amazing. He's actually riding right. Now that's something you don't see every day. Ride that buffalo! Come on, ride. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. That is beautiful. Keep going, that's beautiful. Jump! Come on, up, up, up. Go! Oh! out there. I mean, Diane's in labor and he's out there playing with the birds. I just don't understand what's going through his head. His life, maybe? His future? All the plans he's made? He's just going to abandon her. We don't know that for sure. That's one of the reasons I brought him out here, is to give him a chance to think. He's a good kid. He cares. He's being selfish, Michael. No, he's being bombarded by too many people giving too much advice. And he's confused. He wants to do the right thing, he just doesn't know what it is yet. I better figure it out pretty soon. His problem is that he loves that girl. And it's scaring him to death. Okay, okay, so don't force it. Let him take it. Okay, good. Hey, hey, Jack. Yeah? Uh, I was, I was thinking, since I'm going home today, maybe I could go by the hospital and see Diane. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, w I want to see your baby, see if she looks like you. Well, I think Sam's had enough to eat anyway. What if, what if we let him go and he don't leave? Oh, he'll, he'll leave, don't worry. I think about when we found him, remember? So this is where you sleep. 
You can have this bed. I think it's free. Uh, the chores are posted in the ranch house. You uh, check the board every morning after breakfast. Okay. And the kids trade off cooking dinners. Really? Yeah, but don't worry about it. Worst comes to worst. There's lots of peanut butter and jam. Hi, I'm here. You want me? Hey, Bobby. You didn't have to run all the way, man. Oh, sorry. Come on in. This is Jack. He's new. Hi, Jack. I'm Bobby. I know. We usually have a kid that's been here for a while show the new guy around, and Bobby's your man. Really? Show him around. Okay, yeah, come on, I'll show you around. And uh, these are some trees around the ranch and, and rocks and stuff. And, and that, that's, that's like a plant. Right. What? Right, you don't have to show me every inch of the place. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Sometimes I get, you know, I don't hear so good. I got my bell rung. Boxing. I'm a boxer. Was. Only one fight, but I got paid for it. Got hit pretty bad? Oh, yeah. First round. First punch. Guy was fast. Next thing I know, it's five days later, I'm in the hospital. Can't hear out of this ear. Barely see out of this eye. And I start doing stupid things, you know? Hey, look at that. It's a hawk. It must have hurt its wing. Hey, very quiet. What? Michael. Okay. How could you possibly expect to make a good impression? You practically scared the life out of me the first time I saw you. John. Rachel. I, I need to talk to you. Don't move. I need your help. Sure, whatever. Do you remember that girl I told you about this morning, Annie? Yeah. Well, I've gone through all my records, and I can't find anything that matches her look or her profile. And, I mean, she's got hair to about here. She's about five foot six. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Rachel. What do you want me to do? Well, when she left, she said she was going back to the street, to her family. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe she's a hooker or um, a gang member. You want me to check my file? Could you? I don't know. I mean, how far back should I go? Months, years? A first name is not a lot to go by. I know, I know, but I, I need your help and I need to find her. Okay. I'll get Marlene to scan my files. Meanwhile, I, I'm going to check around and see what I can find. Wait a minute, check around? Where? Well, downtown, everywhere. Just talk to people. What? You mean you're just going to go downtown amongst the hookers and the drug addicts and just ask around? Well, that's a start. Are you kidding me? Rachel. Rachel? You think his wing's healed enough by now? Oh, yeah. He's he's ready to fly. You just watch. Hey, guys. Hey, Sam. Looking good. <laughs> ready to fly. Yeah. You did a good job with him, Bobby. Oh, well, only because Jack helped. Yeah? Yeah. Lunch is in 15, then group. Uh, Michael. Yeah? Has Diane's mother called back yet? No, not yet. Well, I was just wondering, you know, how things are going and stuff. You know. If you want to use the phone, you can. Just dial direct. Uh, no, no, that's, that's okay. So, are uh, you going to go to any football games at Stanford? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Well, what's their team called? Uh, the Cardinals. The oh, Cardinals, all right. No, no, just the Cardinal. The Stanford Cardinal. What, there's only one of them? No, no, it's named after the color. Cardinal? The Stanford Cardinal. Let's go Cardinal. 
Yeah. That sounds pretty stupid. Where's Stanford, anyway? Uh, California. California? Jeez. That's, that's like in the United States. <laughs> yeah, real long way. Tough school to get into, very prestigious. What, Jack? <laughs> Nothing. I. I just, I just wish I could, I, I could go back, you know, replay the whole thing. Not be so stupid. Can't go back. I know. You got yourself into a situation. Now you have to deal with it. By the way, it's not going to be easy. Whatever you decide to do is going to be tough. I mean, I, I, I want a family. I mean, I, I want kids. I, I do. It's just, you know, not now. It, not yet. I mean, it's, 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 it's too early. That's it? That's how you feel about it? Standing out here with these people. What are you crazy? I'm looking for Annie. Rachel, you can't come walking down here by yourself talking with these people. You're just asking for trouble. I can handle it. No, you can't. John, she needs me. If she's here, I am staying until I find Look, her. Look, okay. Now this girl, you said you checked your file, right? Yeah. And you didn't find anything. So maybe, just maybe, she's not one of your kids. Okay? John, she came to me, so she must know me. Then maybe you just think. What? I think what? Rachel, Come on, tell me what? I'm concerned about you. You think I'm making this up? No. Why would I make up something like this? I didn't say that. Yeah, but that's what you're thinking. Rachel, I am concerned about you. You are under a lot of stress. Why would I make something up like this? Take it easy. Take it easy. I saw her. She stood in front of me. I, I talked to her. What can I say to you? Take it easy. She's just don't patronize me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, look, let me help you find her. I'll help you find her, okay? Damn, Rachel! Hello? Hi, Reed. Oh? Where is she now? She's right here with me. I told her I had to check in with work. Michael, I've never seen Rachel act like this. And it's scary. She could be burning out. Too much stress. Yeah, she's definitely headed for trouble. But uh, I don't know how to put on the brakes, because that's your specialty. Listen, I gotta bring a kid into town this afternoon. Can you stay with her till I get there? Well, sure. Yeah, just keep an eye on her. Try and get her to go home. I have. Well, the chances of her finding this Annie person on the street are pretty slim. If there is an Annie. Okay, I'll see you in a while. Oh, I don't believe this. Rachel! Rachel, give me a break! No more 6 a.m. bell. No more cold cereal for dinner. Back to good old home cooking. Yeah. It'll be great. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you, Jack. Oh, hey, Bobby. I'm only here for another month. We can get together on the outside and still be friends. Yeah. Oh. Here. Going away present. Really? Yeah. Help you with your numbers. Yeah. Gonna need it. My mom says she found me a job. Really? Working for my uncle in the fish market. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't fight no more. I, I wanted to get into baseball, but with my bad eye, I, I don't see so good. Trouble with, uh, uh, with, uh, you know, the... Depth, depth perception. No, I just can't tell how far away things are. Just stuff up close. And stuff right up here. So I just, I just take what's right here and deal with that. And who knows? Rachel? Rachel, wait a minute. What are you doing? found her, John. She's at 426 Carson. You mean you gave this guy money? Well, he wasn't going to tell me for free. He knows who she is, I described Rachel, of course he's going to say he knows who she is. Wait a minute. I, I, I want to talk with you. 
Ranger, you can't go over there. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Uh, take thy beak out my heart and take thy form off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Thanks, Bobby, for that appropriate poem. <laughs> yeah, I just figured because a raven's a bird and Sam's a bird. Yeah, got it. <laughs> okay, ready to fly. Time, Time to, to fly. fly. Okay. Now, just like we practiced, hold your arm out. Easy. There we go. He's on. He's on. Looking good. Okay. Okay, this is it. See you, Sam. Happy travels. Right if you get work. Go on, Sam. You're free. You really did good with him. Ah, oh, it's just a cut on his wing. Vet said it would probably heal on its own anyway. No, I mean with Bobby. He really looks up to you. You're like a big brother to him. Or a father. See you, Jack. I'll be in touch. Don't worry, man. Oh! Uh, I wanted to give you a present. Uh, all I got is my mouthpiece. Don't put it in your mouth or anything. I mean, it probably wouldn't fit. It's, it's just like a present. Oh, from the fight? Yeah, yeah. A guy knocked it out of my mouth. Out of the ring, actually. Uh, ten rows back. But I've been keeping it ever since. Hmm. Well, thanks. Yeah, so, uh, I, I won't be going to the hospital or anything. Oh, Bobby, if you, I mean, if you want to see the baby, you know, you can. I, I, I want you to. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I don't think so. See you, Jack. Hey, bud.
Tick, tick, tick. Weird day. It's not exactly how I expected it to turn out. Yeah, well, life's like that sometimes, you know. I don't know what to do, Eleanor. How do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah, when you know how you feel, you'll know what to do. But so much is expected of me, it's... It's like I'm being torn apart. By who? By you or by other people? You know my mom? No, you don't, but let's just say that she's just a little flake, okay? But one thing she always told me that I'll never forget and always sticks with me is that the best choices in life are the ones you make when you follow your heart. Do you? What? Follow your heart. So I brought her back here, called her supervisor, told him she'd be out sick for a while. She was beat, totally exhausted. Finally talked her into lying down for a while. Fell asleep in seconds. She's hurting, Michael. How are you holding it? Oh, I'm okay. My knuckles are killing me, though. I haven't punched someone like that since my sister's wedding. Your sister's wedding? <laughs> A long story. <laughs> Look, I could use a cup of tea. You want one? Have some. You got it. She's bending again. Oh, <laughs> 
Vic just drove up in the truck. He's unloading his stuff in his cabin. Said he'd be right over. Well, what's it look like? Like a truck. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, hi, Mrs. Cavanaugh. She is. Okay, great. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll tell him. Okay, thanks. Thanks for calling. Okay, bye. Did she have it? Not yet. They took her into the hospital. Her contractions are closer together. So that means she should have it pretty soon. Do you, do you think we still have time to make it? Yeah, we do if we try. Let's do it then. Yeah. See you there. Right, okay. So who's that? Eleanor. She called from the car. Eleanor's got a car phone now. Yeah, that's a long story. But I have to go to the hospital for a walk. Can you stay here with her? Yeah, sure. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's just <laughs> one of the kids, his girlfriend, is having a baby. A baby? Yeah, and that's another long story, too, but... If you can, I'll, I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay, the nurse said 118. 118. 118. No. Come on. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. What do I do? You just go in. Just, just go in? Yes, you just go in. Jack, you came. Yeah, well, I thought I would just take what's right in front of me and deal with that, you know? Oh, I love you. I love you, too. Do you mean it? Diane. <laughs> oh! oh, you bastard! Ah! You did this to me! I'm gonna kill you! Diane! Oh! 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 Diane! Oh! My cheek! Diane! Oh! Dr. Pardon, report to emergency, Dr. Robert Porter. Nurse Cratchit, line one, house phone. Nurse Cratchit. What's happening? How is she? Is what she is, okay? it? is the baby here? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? What? It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Girl. Thanks. Uh, they're both doing great. Um, I got to get back in there, but uh, I'll come back out and uh, fill you guys in on what's happening. Okay. Sunshine. Hi. You ready? It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Dave's a good friend and he's a great therapist. It'll be good for you. I know. It's just confronting who I am and what I expect of myself. It's kind of scary, you know. But it's time. I need to do this. Michael! Hey, Jack, how are you? I was in the neighborhood. I just thought I'd drop by and say hi. Hi. I brought a friend of mine with me, too. 
Hey, Bobby! Hey, Jack. I brought your baby a present. From my uncle's fish market. I just started work there today. Great. Uh, thanks. I'll just take this uh, to the baby's room. They're about. <laughs> are, are you Diane? Yeah. And nice to meet you, Bobby. I feel like I already know you. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that your baby? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's small. Well, what's her name? Well, we talked about that for a while. Yeah, we finally decided on Samantha. Hmm, Sam, for sure. 